what do a time traveling DeLorean, a trip through cinema history, and a man eating great white shark have in common? They're all closed theme park rides. And I've been going to theme parks like Disney and Universal as long as I can remember. Sadly, over the years, I've also seen some of the best rides shut down. I made a lot of fun memories on these rides with my family, and when some of these rides close, it's like a piece of your past has just disappeared. But what if I could go back in time and experience some of these retired rides again? My goal is to find as many recreations of retired rides as possible, but I'm looking for two specific rides to complete my personal quest to relive the past. First though, let's set some ground rules. Every ride must be retired. Two, we must be able to experience the ride in virtual reality. VR is as close as we can get to really being on the ride. Okay, let's go find some rides to ride. I set out on my quest to find recreations of theme park rides, and I actually found a few right away, but there were two rides I knew I had to find, and the first one was Jaws. The Jaws ride opened in 1990 and was open for 22 years before closing in 2012. To me, it was one of the most exciting thrill rides I've ever been on. And as someone who loves the original Jaws movie, traveling to Amity and riding in a boat that was attacked by the world's most famous great white shark was a dream come true. There was fire, explosions, and cheesy acting. It was the perfect mixture of fear and excitement. I've been searching, and so far I'm not having very good luck finding any good Jaws recreations. I did find a couple of fan-made rides in some theme park simulator games, but they just don't look very good. So I might need to take a break and check out one of the rides that I already did find. The ride was 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by far the easiest ride that I found. This is an incredible recreation of the classic ride by Defunct Land. Even though I technically don't remember this ride, it was apparently there when I went the first time to Disney World. Oh wow, okay, that is impressive right there. That is the Sorcerer Mickey's hat from Hollywood Studios that used to be there. It's been a long time since I've seen that thing. This is officially Defunct Land. This is going to be much bigger as they add more defunct rides to it. But right now we're going over there. And that is where the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea ride is. Even though I had never been on the ride before, the attention to detail of the recreation was just amazing. Everything from the textures of the wooden paint to the signs showing how long the wait was from a certain point. Look at that, there's the sub right there. That is awesome. I love 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. If you've never seen the movie, you really should watch it. I found my way to the submarine, and then it was time to board and descend into the depths of the ocean. Oh, wow, this is crazy. I can't even imagine there being a ride like this, to be honest. Actually, under the water? Like many other rides at Disney World, the magic of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea was undeniable. Look at the size of those fish. Holy. I wonder if the octopus that's from the movie will be in this. I hope so. That would be so cool. What is that? Hey, there's a person out there. Hey! Story has always been at the forefront for Disney parks, and the original audio included in the recreation was almost as entertaining as the ride itself. As we ventured deeper into the uncharted ocean, we discovered a lost civilization. Look at that. The lost city of Atlantis. We even met a few mermaids along the way. Mermaids? <laughs> and a sea serpent. Look at this. I think my favorite part, though, might have been going under the North Pole and seeing the icebergs from underneath. Then we descended even further into the darkest part of the ocean. Look, look. There's a sub right there. There's the squid. <laughs> Look at that, it's gonna get us. We're electrocuting it. Those are huge tentacles. Seeing the ride in VR not only made me appreciate just how good it was, but made me want to actually see it in real life. Okay, that was pretty awesome. Dang, I wish that was still around in real life. I want to go on that ride in real life. All right, let's get out of here and head back to the present. Now that I had returned to the present, I decided I would come back to Jaws later and instead focus on my second favorite ride, the Jurassic Park River Ride. Now, I know what you're going to say, technically the ride is still there, but it's had a huge re-theming to change everything over to Jurassic World. And even though I do enjoy those movies, there will never be anything like the original movie. The Jurassic Park ride opened in 1996, and between the animatronic dinosaurs, the fun story, and the surprise ending, it made a lasting impression on me as a kid. So, I began my search and almost immediately found something that got me excited. 
Okay, I'm actually really excited here because I just found a 1997 Jurassic Park ride recreation done in Unreal Engine by someone named Primal Rex. It was posted on Reddit and on YouTube originally, and there's mention in the comments about a VR version. It's like a four-year-old post and video, so who knows if they even still have it, but I'm going to try to figure out how to get in touch with them and we'll see what we can do. I started digging to see if I could somehow contact the person who made the original project. I found a Medium page in their YouTube profile and followed that to a GitHub. I've done some sleuthing and I found another game that Primal Rex is creating called Primal Dominion Aftermath. Now, I found a Discord for this game. So I'm going to try to join the Discord and see if I can find whoever created the original game and cross my fingers that they still have it. I joined the Discord and searched for the username Primal Rex. It was right at the top of the users list. I found someone named Primal Rex on the server and I just sent them a message. We'll see if they actually respond. And if we're lucky, Maybe we can get our hands on this recreation. While I waited for a response, I jumped into another recreation I'd found. But this time, it wasn't just a ride, but of the entire Epcot theme park when it opened in the 1980s. Look at the gate open. Wow, look at that thing. That orb is huge. It's like really standing there. It's Spaceship Earth. This is Epcot 1982. Look at the shadows from, from the train up there. I want to go on that train. Can you go on that train? That's the people mover there. Let's go see if we can go up on the people mover. I want to go on the people mover if we can. Oh, you can hear the fountain. The recreation was stunning. The detail of the original Epcot theme park just blew me away. The detail in this place is incredible. Of course, the first thing I tried was going on the people mover. All right, we're going to try going on the people mover. I hope that it lets us go on it. Space to board. Oh, look at this. We're actually on the people mover now. <laughs> we're going to take a trip around the park. Unfortunately, it works when using a flat screen, but not with the VR injection with UEVR. So I set out to see more. This is really surreal being here. It, it just looks so good. Wow, this place is beautiful. Look at the palm trees. There's so much to see. I don't even know where to go. <laughs> All right, let's just, we're going to walk around the edge. Let's go over here and see what's over here. Well, there's another whole section over there. Look at that. World of Motion, Universe of Energy. I quickly discovered you could go into the shops and buildings with full recreations of the displays and gift shops. So far, this was the most immersive experience I'd had in a theme park in VR. If I could just find a Jaws ride recreation like this, I would literally be in heaven. Well, look, there's the monorail. There she goes. I want to go on the monorail and go to another park after this. Universe of Energy, isn't that Ellen DeGeneres's? Old ride there, and then over there, World of Motion. That's the building that is the car ride one now, right? Test Track. I love Test Track. I wandered around for a bit and ended up at the World of Motion ride, which had been recreated as well, and I tried to ride it. We're going to try to go on World of Motion. I think you can actually go on this ride. Let's see. Ride your vehicle and remain seated while traveling. Thank you. All right, we're going to try it and see how this works. Your vehicle doors close automatically. Oh, we can kind of walk through it. We can't exactly ride through it because if something's wrong with the VR implementation with me using this, but... beginning, of course, there was foot power. Again, ran into issues, so I had to leave the ride. Then I thought it would be fun to check out the park at night, so I changed the time settings, and wow, it was beautiful. This time I explored the other side of the park, and I found the land. Oh, wow, look at this. <laughs> this is the land where they've got the restaurant down there and you've got the ride you can go on. I wonder if you can go on the ride. It was a full interior recreation. This is incredible, this recreation. <laughs> it's absolutely incredible. Let's get on the escalator, shall we? Even one of the retired shows. The place just came up. What's in here? Okay, we're just What? This is an actual show. Test. Take a seat. We'll get started. Oh, we sit down. There we go. And now, the show that has the whole town cooking. The Kitchen Cabaret. As I was leaving the land, I just couldn't help but be in awe of the view. Wow, that is a view right there. Look at that. Spaceship Earth all lit up. <laughs> it looks stunning, really. So right here is the Figman 
thing, right? Journey to an Imagination, which you can't really go on, I don't believe. That up there at one point was Honey, I Shrunk the Audience. I don't know what it is currently. I love, love the dancing water. I've always loved that. And then over here, if you look past where those trees are, eventually that is the world's. The world showcase, which is amazing. I love the world showcase. Well, I think we've mostly explored most of Epcot. I wish we could go on some of these rides. I would love to go on Spaceship Earth, but I think we're going to have to return to the future. After time traveling to the 80s, I ran back to my PC to see if Primal Rex had responded. And he had. He said it had been a long time and that the project hadn't been worked on in nearly as long. And that the current project had a lot of coding and graphics problems that would need to be fixed to get it working. I have no clue how to fix this project file, so I'm going to ask if they happen to have a compiled executable that I can use to run the game and we'll cross our fingers one more time. I sent another message, and while I waited to hear back, I picked back up my search for Jaws. But again, just wasn't having much luck. Well, it's not looking good for Jaws. I might have to actually give up on finding it. The good news, sort of, is, is that Universal did just launch a Minecraft DLC, and you can ride Jaws in that. It's not exactly what I wanted. It's really disappointed I couldn't find anything better, but I guess we're gonna have to give up on that for now and we'll return to this a little later. I gave up my search for Jaws again and found another old ride to experience. This time, it was a ride that was technically still open at Disney World, but had been changed into the Guardians of the Galaxy mission breakout at Disneyland, the Tower of Terror. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is incredibly detailed. Hello, anybody here? Whoa, that was creepy. They've actually got the real intro playing from the Twilight Zone. <laughs> That's amazing. The perfect recreation of not just the ride, but the waiting room with the pre-show was a pleasant surprise. Well, that was creepy and awesome at the same time. This way. All right, let's go this way. Oh, okay. Here we go. The ride entrance. There's the service elevator right there. I'd only been on Tower of Terror one time when I was younger, and I didn't really remember it all that well. I feel like I should be sitting and buckled in here. <laughs> oh, we're going up. Oh, what's happening? The experience had a few hiccups at one point because of the mirror you were supposed to wave to. But after that, it worked fine. Hello, ghosts. Whoa, we just dropped. <laughs> oh, we're going back up again. Oh, look, Disney. Oh, it's Hollywood Studios. Hi. <laughs> oh. Even though seeing the ride was great, this was the type of ride you really needed to feel to make it better. I wish that there was a way to actually feel the going up and down. That would make this way better, but it's cool to see it nonetheless. That was really cool. What's happening? The light's flickering. Is it supposed to do that? I haven't been on this ride in a very long time. Oh, uh-oh. Is this part of the original ride? I don't remember. You're not supposed to be there. I don't want to do this. Is it going to drop us again? It is, isn't it? You thought it was done, and then it drops you again, probably, right? Oh, whew, we just moved backwards. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> when I got back to my PC, I had received another message from Primal Rex with a download for the Jurassic Park recreation. I did it. I actually found a file for this Jurassic Park recreation, and I can run it. You're seeing the flat version that I'm playing right now, but we need to get it running in VR. He does not have a VR version, but we can use the UE VR software that allows Unreal Engine games to be played in VR. I'm going to try to get it running and hope it works, and then we'll experience this in full-on virtual reality. When I say I spent hours, that is no exaggeration. I spent hours trying everything to get the Jurassic Park game to work in VR. I changed settings, switched software, but eventually, I'm kind of at a loss. I'm frustrated and about ready to give up. I just spent a lot of time trying to make this work, and it's just, I don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, it keeps going to a black screen every single time, and no matter what I do, it does not work, so I think I'm going to have to call it a fail and just say that the ride is lost to history. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to experience Jurassic Park, the ride, in VR. We'll go over now, I guess, and try Jaws in Minecraft. Maybe I could salvage my reliving of the past, this quest, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, this is a tad more impressive than I was expecting it to be. This is the Universal Studios entrance. <laughs> Let's go check out Jaws. There it is. There it is, the shark. And here is the Anity Boat Tours. 
Let's take a look and see just how good this is. Oh, no. <laughs> look at that. There it is. Oh, no, no, uh -oh. no, 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 no. Uh, base, this is Amity 6. Amity 3 is sinking by the lighthouse. Look, there it is. Jaws. <laughs> uh, shark, shark, shark. <laughs> <laughs> Hit him. Quick. Run. Uh, base, this is Amity 6. Tell Chief Brody we're going to hide in the boathouse until we get help. This part's creepy okay? in real life. We're okay. Okay, we're gonna be okay. <laughs> this is actually really cool. Hello? It may not be photorealistic, but it's pretty awesome nonetheless. Huh. There is it. Whoa, there it is! <laughs> oh, look at Oh, jeez, some crow. That's a big shark. Jaws? Oh, look, there's the fire. That's not good. Oh, this is very bad. Aw, oh, I'm missing feeling the flames, no, guys, though. We gotta get away from this gas dock. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, not Time for again. a charred jaws. Oh, there it is. Look at that. <laughs> Bite onto that, little buddy. There it is. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. All right, that was, that was actually pretty awesome. It may not be like riding the ride. But it brings back a lot of memories. Now that we've done Jaws, we're going to check out some more rides because that was that was actually a lot more nostalgic than I was expecting it to be. Oh, these are the rides here. You can go on Revenge of the Mummy, Back to the Future, Jaws, E.T., Studio Tour, and, and Earthquake. And then you've got Jurassic World and Skull Island, Reign of Kong. Oh, I'm going to go on all of these. After checking out Minecraft, I also went ahead and rode the rest of the rides at Universal and Minecraft, including the closed down Back to the Future ride. Even though I wasn't able to experience all of the rides I wanted to in VR, or even the way I wanted to, being able to step backwards in time using technology and relive those precious memories is something that I think will only get better and more important with time. And I, for one, am thankful for good memories to look back on and family to have experienced them with. Thank you so much for watching and joining me on this quest. Check out another of my videos there on the screen, and maybe hit that little subscribe button down there if you want to.